Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my everyday go-to hair, makeup and outfit. So to start off I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. I love this, it's so hydrating and really perfecting on the skin at the same time and it helps my makeup to last so so long. And then once I've primed my skin I'm going to be using my YSL Neutralizer for those big old dark circles under my eyes that just get worse and worse every single day. And I'm blending that in using a airbrush concealer brush. So once I've neutralized my dark circles I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion Foundation. I'm blending this in with a Eco Tools Custom Coverage Buffing Brush, which is one of the best brushes for using with a cushion foundation. I love flat top brushes, I can't be dealing with the sponges. I have tried, I just don't like them, but I do love this foundation. It's so glowy and dewy. Next I'm going to be concealing using the Bourjois CC Eye Cream. I haven't used this in a very long time. I found it when I was clearing out my makeup and it's so brightening and concealing at the same time. It's got a really good coverage so I've really been enjoying that and again I am buffing that in using the Eco Tools custom coverage buffing brush because it's so quick and easy to use. So I'm moving on to brows and I'm going to be using the Eco Tools brow shaping set with the Bobbi Brown brow kit. This set comes with a double sided angled brush, a brow groomer and then also some eyebrow stencils for those that need a little bit more guidance. So to start off I'm using the flat side of the double sided brush just to quickly fill in the larger parts of my brows and then I'm using the angled side for the more niggly bits that need a bit more detail like the tail and the arch. So I repeat that on both sides and then I just use the brow groomer to brush through my brows and take out any excess product because I have a tendency to go overboard. Next I just set the brows in place and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. You guys are probably so bored of seeing this now but I love it. Sets the brows in place and also defines them as well. For eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and for all over my eyelid I'm going to be taking the lightest two shades and I'm blending those all over my eyelid using an Eco Tools full shadow brush. So I just blend, 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 blend. There we go. And then I'm going to be using the mid brown shade and the more greyy smoky shade. They're both matte too. And I'm going to be mixing those together and running those through my crease. I'm then going to follow that up by using my Guerlain liquid liner. This stuff is just like holy grail amazingness. I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going to be moving on to mascara and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Full Slash Sculpt Mascara. This mascara is my go to at the moment. It is just all kinds of awesome. It's so volumizing and thickening, but also really lengthening as well. And then I'm moving on to bronzer. I'm going to be using the Benefit Do The Hula, which is a new liquid bronzer that I am all about at the moment. It is so great. You can mix it into foundation or just leave it on its own. I'm blending this in over the top of my foundation using the Eco Tools Domed Bronzer Brush, which is such a great brush. Whether you're applying powder bronzer or liquid bronzer, it's so dense and it really blends everything seamlessly. As you can see, I start off with my cheeks and then blend up onto my temples and forehead and I'm not sure what happened here but I think I may have applied too much but yeah it's okay we made it work we made it work for highlighter I'm going to be using the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm going to be using the Eco Tools Highlighting Fan Brush. This is just the most beautiful highlighter, it's very very intense though so the fan brush really helps to just apply a very sheer amount of it so I don't go too overboard for the daytime. But I run that across my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose and across the tip of my nose. And then we move on to lip products, I'm starting off with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. Oh my god I love this so much at the moment and then once once I've applied that, I'm going to be using Max Blankety over the top. I absolutely love this combination, it's so beautiful. And then we move on to hair, and recently I've been loving like loose waves, so I start off with the Colab dry shampoo, just spritz it through my hair because I don't wash my hair every single day. And then I use my Babyliss conical wand and I just wrap random sized strands of hair around the wand and I tend to start at the same place down my hairline every time just to give it a slight bit of uniform but not too much which is why I grab different strands of different thicknesses. And I'm always curling away from my face as you can see here and then once it's done I give it a little ruffle and that is it. It's super easy. So once I'm done with my makeup and hair I put my jewellery on and these rings are from Pandora and Monica Vinida. You'll see those later. My watch is also from Olivia Burton and then in terms of perfume I've been loving Victor and Rolf perfumes. So Flower Bomb is my fragrance of choice and then I have Bomb Bomb that I spray in my hair. 
And then as you can see, I'm packing my bag. So in addition to my keys and purse, I pop in my lipstick, my phone, my headphones, and then I carry my sunglasses with me as well. And that is me out of the house. It really takes a lot longer than it did in this video, guys. <laughs> so for my outfit, I'm wearing these Valentino-esque shoes from Topshop. My dress is also from Topshop as well as my jacket. My sunglasses are from Dior and my bag is Sophie Holm. This is such a beautiful bag. And there we go, that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.